Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Ashwin back at it again with another Apex Legends mobile video for you. And today, I want to know if you want to find out how good this guy is. And what about this lovely lady over here? And what about this dude? Well, today, you are going to find out how good each and every single legend is, ready for you to decide which to play when open beta drops. Without wasting any time, guys, let's get straight into it. Let's kick it! Alright guys, quick one, I've just finished editing and the video turns out to be 45 minutes long. So, no one watches 45 minute videos and what I've done is I've chopped them into smaller sections. Kind of like a limited series on this specific topic. What I've done is I've chopped them into four different episodes, three legends each because there are a total of 12 legends currently to go through. I will drop the episodes every day from today up until Friday, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Enjoy this one for now. Peace. Alrighty guys, the theme for today is which legends are best for beginners and why. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over this list of um, legends that I created. This is going to be in alphabetical order. Oh, by the way, fellow content creators, I urge you to do your own version. I'm going to drop the link in the description below so you can do this for legends and also I've created the list for weapons as well so feel free to use that all right so what we're gonna do guys is put each and every single one of these legends in alphabetical order into these tiers S being the highest tier D being the worst and we're gonna go through their abilities and you know and why I think they belong in these tiers and the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna hop over to my website iStream.com and then just go through every single um, legend guide and legend information about their passive abilities tactical ultimate that that sort of thing so yeah starting off with Bangalore Bangalore is actually Actually one of my favorites she is the assault queen of apex legends mobile so let's just go through her skill sets really quick her passive is called double time bangalore gains a temporary movement speed boost whenever an enemy shoots at her or throws an ordinance at her ordinance is like grenade arc stars that sort of stuff and then we've got her tactical ability shoot a smoke grenade that immediately creates a cloud of smoke on impact and then last but not the least ultimate rolling thunder call down an airstrike that would drop missiles in a huge area that would damage and slow enemies on hit so let's just quickly talk about her abilities. Her passive is absolutely incredible. Her passive is actually S tier on its own. Whenever you get shot at or a grenade thrown at you, you just get a movement speed boost for about four seconds, something like that. It's, it's really good to escape with and it's also a good indicator to figure out that you're that you're being shot at. So that in itself is S tier. However, her tactical and ultimate rolling thunder are the two main reasons as to why I will not put her on S tier, guys. Let's let's go over the tactical. So this smoke launcher, you you you, you basically throw a, a smoke grenade and it creates cover anywhere. Now the bad thing about this is if the person doesn't know how to use this, this could also affect the teams blinding the teammates, which happens to be very very similar to her ultimate rolling thunder because you can call this air strike down and you can kill and slow targets with this ultimate however you can also hit your teammates with this ultimate which means it will also slow them down although it won't damage them the ultimate can slow your teammates down as well as you and also kill you because it can damage you overall though as a beginner as a legend to try and get used to as a legend to try and play bangalore is actually relatively easy to play so if you're someone new you're probably not going to be in a clan or you're probably not going to have a solid bunch of teammates to play with all the time which actually makes bangalore a really solid legend for a beginner to play to start off with and get grips with the game and stuff like that because most of the time you're probably just gonna have to fend for yourself your teammates are probably gonna be randoms who have no idea what they're doing so what i'm gonna do guys we're gonna go straight into the tier list and we are going to put bangalore in tier a she is a very very versatile legend as well as a really self-sufficient legend to use especially for a beginner so bangalore drops straight into a guys what do you think about that all right next up we have bloodhound as a beginner as soon as you play apex legends mobile Bloodhound is going to be one of the first characters that you will get to play for free. But just because you get him for free and at the very start of the game does not mean he's bad. He is actually one of the best legends in the game. And you know what? I'm going to get straight into the point, guys. I am going to drop him straight into S tier. That's where Bloodhound belongs. His passive ability is one of the best passive abilities in the game, if not the best. It is at the very least the most informative passive ability in the game. You literally don't have to do anything at all for these clues to come up for you. All you need to do is walk around, get close enough to the clues, and they will pop up for 
for you. And in games like this, guys, information is key. If you can get information that your enemy cannot, you've already got an advantage. And the fact that you're able to tell so many different things without having to do anything at all, that is just such an absolutely incredible skill to have. Now, moving on to his tactical ability. His tactical ability allows you to scan in, in a cone in front of you, a massive cone, and it will scan up to 75 meters in range. That is, that is hella far. As soon as your enemies get scanned, they will be highlighted for a few seconds in real time. So even if they move around, you will see exactly where they are. It does not matter if they are blocked by a building or anything at all, they will always be highlighted. And to top it all off, his ultimate basically upgrades his tactical ability. So what happens is, not only do you get insane movement speed boost whenever you activate this Beast of the Hunt ultimate ability, his tactical ability's cooldown drops from 25 seconds to 5 seconds, which means during the Beast of the Hunt duration, you are able to scan every 5 seconds. Do you guys realize how OP that is? How absolutely epic that is? You can scan and figure out where your enemies are every 5 seconds for as long as you have your ultimate activated. And not only that, like I said, you gain an extra 30% movement speed boost and what also happens is your, your vision becomes black and white. Then the enemies will be highlighted in orange for you to be able to see them easily. This does require a clear line of sight though, so you won't see them highlighted if they're behind the building unless you've scanned them. So yes, this is exactly why I say Bloodhound is definitely S tier because he is very self-sufficient. He can provide information not only for you, but also for your teammates, as well as being able to show your teammates where the enemies are. Yes, that is correct. Whoever you scan with Bloodhound will also be highlighted for your teammates. Absolutely incredible legend to play. That's why he belongs in the S tier. All right, now we've got Caustic. Caustic is the most toxic legend in the game. No pun intended. His entire ability set revolves around toxic gas. Literally all of them. Let's start off with his passive, Nox Vision. Enhanced enemy vision when they are caught inside your gas. What this means is when they are caught inside your gas, they will be highlighted in a neon green kind of color so you know exactly where they are. Then we have his tactical ability, Nox Gas Trap. Throw gas traps down, which releases smoke that will damage and slow enemies down. This is one of the most annoying things in Apex Legends Mobile, guys. Whenever you see one of these gas traps down that belongs to your enemy, don't bother getting close to it. When that sets off, you are going to be slowed down as well as damaged over time. The damage over time does not affect your shield either. It will go straight to your base HP. So if you get caught long enough within this trap, you can actually die without your shield even taking any damage. This is one of the things that you need to look out for whenever playing Apex Legends Mobile, especially when trying to infiltrate enemies that are camping inside buildings. Make sure you guys watch out for these gas traps. Now we have the Nox Gas Grenade. Throw a gas grenade that slows and damages enemies in a very large area. This is basically the same as his tactical, but in the form of a grenade. This is basically his tactical on steroids. So you throw the grenade, as soon as it hits a surface, it explodes. The area is so much bigger than his tactical, and the damage over time is also more, and it slows you down. So what you can do as a caustic is run up to an enemy and drop your ultimate. If they get caught in it, they are practically doomed. You can just gun them down really easily because they are slowed down. They're taking damage. They're probably panicking. So make sure you definitely take advantage of this Nox gas grenade as something that you can push with. And keep enemies behind or scatter squads, of course. Let's talk about Caustic's overall usefulness then and how easy it actually is to use his skills. The passive is just is, is just as it is. It's pretty simple. You get clearer vision when an enemy is in your gas. Also, it, it doesn't actually say here because it doesn't say in the game itself. I'm not quite sure where to put it yet, but enemy gas has no effect on you at all. Doesn't slow you down, doesn't damage you at all. So that's one of the things that you might want to remember as a caustic player. Now with this tactical, it's not actually as simple as dropping the canisters there and then hoping for them to kill everyone. It's not as easy as that. Thank the Lord. You have to place these gas traps with a bit more strategy. If you're going to place them indoor, it's a little bit easier. But when you're trying to outplay someone outdoor, it's a little bit harder than that. So his tactical actually requires a little bit more of a strategy, a bit more of a, a think before you, you act. It, it, it's not one of the, it's not the easiest ability to, to use, but once you master it, it's actually a really nice and gives a bit of a, a troll effect on your enemies when you get to use this, this gas trap efficiently because it is such an annoying thing to deal with. However, his gas grenade is just so easy to use. You can, like I said, you can literally just run up to an enemy, drop this gas grenade on their foot or close them, and they are going to have a very hard time getting away from you or trying to kill you. With that in mind, his ability set can be dangerous, but they are not as easy to use as other legends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop Caustic straight into B. With Caustic, you will have to do a little bit more thinking to actually make him work. And that in itself isn't really the best for beginners. Isn't really the best for, all right, jumping into the game and having such a successful and efficient run. Thank you. 